Hello, this is Adam Samir, ESM Today. We are uh, presenting the clinic organized by our international Olympic rider Karim Al Zoghbi here in Egypt. Today is the third day of this clinic. Karim decided to have a course today for all the riders that have been participating. There were almost 20 riders with almost 30 horses or something. And the clinic has been very successful so far. Everybody's been very happy. We got to know a lot, or uh, at least uh, some important stuff from Karim and today is starting with the 125-130 course for most of the riders and then it will follow with a bigger class, a 145 class. So let's see how it will go uh, by the end of the day. I came to Egypt a couple of days ago and by nature all the riders here are my friends. And when the friends ask me for things, I'm always there for them. And uh, they just asked me to help them with riding. And all of a sudden it became 10, 20, 30. And uh, we had a revolution in the ring. So it was funny, but uh, my job is just very simple, is to show them where the problems are, because I don't have time to fix the problems with them. And they work on the problems. And I think they're all very, very talented and very ambitious riders. They just need somebody to show them the way, and that's what I do with them. Well, first of all, I want them to believe in themselves a lot more, because even the best riders in the world have problems with horses. They have a bad show and a good show, and a bad period and a good period. But it doesn't mean that when the bad period comes, I don't analyze why it's bad and normally the horse gives you the signs why it's bad but we don't see it and the signs are normally language a body language and the horse can't talk so he tells you I'm not straight I'm a little bit stiff on the left I'm a little bit stiff on the right and these are very simple things it's like the human body when it gets stiff it doesn't function good it's the same with the horse but the only difference is he doesn't talk that's why I told everybody just Move the horses as much as you can in the 24 hours. No work. Keep them very, very happy and very, very healthy. Uh, we had a fantastic two days with uh, Karim. Um, he worked on very simple things, made us uh, believe more in ourselves and our horses. Uh, I think uh, we're far better riders and we have uh, much better horses after these two days. And I'd like to thank him very much for his time that he spent with us and uh, who, everybody who helped us in this uh, event, ESM, uh, Forosea Club uh, and my uh, fellow Gezira riders. Uh, it was a fantastic experience. I would like to thank Karim very much for helping us uh, these days. Uh, it was very useful for me that he helped me with all horses. And then we had a course today at Forsea Club. Uh, he helped us a lot in the course and uh, I saw a great difference between the beginning and the end. Uh, I hope he comes a lot to help us like this uh, as he doesn't come a lot to Egypt. Uh, everyone had uh, great days with him in uh, Egypt and he helped everyone with his horses and I hope he comes again. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم طبعا يو هورسي بيبل ان ان ايجيبت انا ميبي يور اولدر اولدر براذر اور ميبي سام تايم سام اوف يو كول مي جود فادر ا كابل اوف دايز لايك وات وي سبند ويز كريم اور يو سبند ويز كريم انا هاف بين واتشينج وات از جوينج اون uh, it was uh, a nice uh, atmosphere and from uh, Karim to spend the time to try and pass the experience and the knowledge 
that they acquired uh, in the sport and you all have the, that respect for him, uh, I think it was uh, a nice thing. Uh, maybe I can go as far as I call it, it's a duty f uh, from all of us Egyptians. Uh, especially now we are going to rebuild our country that whoever has any extra knowledge to, to pass it through uh, to the rest and uh, we thank God that now uh, we have somebody like Karim uh, stationed in Europe and uh, Abdel Adir as well uh, and before them there was Sakakini before uh, he had to change uh, to ride for Italy. Uh, gradually, I see uh, this is increasing. Like we already have an addition this year with Samah, uh, uh, also starting in, uh, to have a base in Europe. So gradually, there will be more uh, riders that will gain experience and we should be always waiting for them especially i know that they are not gonna keep anything behind and uh, they do it with all the will and the love uh, for their uh, natives and for their country it was very nice two days uh, maybe the knowledge were too much for uh, some of you but the second time it will be easier and maybe for some of you who heard what was said even before then this means you can polish uh, it's very beneficiary to have these kind of things and uh, i hope that uh, anybody like uh, esm or whatever who can uh, make the effort to try and organize uh, these things more often, uh, I personally love it and appreciate it from all who have contributed to make these two days a success. My plan is I'll be going to the Sunshine Tour in a couple of days. I'm taking some uh, new horses and some young horses. I'm leaving the um, two, three older horses at home. They're not coming with me. And uh, I'm just going there to try to get the level of the horses higher. Then I can use them in the summer because it's very useful to train a lot and jump a lot of small and big classes. And then um, hopefully after this, come back to Europe, on the other side of Europe. I always call it that. It's both Europe, but there's a big difference. And what I mean is start going to Germany and uh, the big shows and hopefully, hopefully get ready for the Olympics, inshallah. I think uh, your question uh, has it all. You said connecting in the middle. It connects people. And when people are connected, relationships uh, come. And when relationships come, um, the world opens, whether it's in uh, seeing the results, whether it's in uh, finding people in Europe who you can buy a horse from, whether uh, you can uh, go and train by somebody. It's connecting people. And I think that's the best ever idea that happened to Egypt although it was a little bit late but uh, at least you guys did it and uh, Ahmed Hussein and Adam Samir uh, thank you very much and uh, let's uh, work on connecting everybody together that's purpose what I'm doing what I'm doing is helping everybody connecting everybody with the sport and uh, the whole sport needs to grow from all aspects and only not one aspect